war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Good morning, vault -Tec calling. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. No, oh, no worries, sir. No worries at all. I'm not selling anything. Not today. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Maybe I don't want to talk to you. No. Oh. <clears throat> you do. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Go away. Won't take but a moment. We do need to verify some information to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of <clears throat> total atomic annihilation. No, I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. So, welcome to Fallout 4, the survival challenge. This is on the most difficult option that you can play on Fallout 4. This turns it into a real survival game. Basically, food and water are real. Hunger and thirst are real. And we've really got to watch taking any damage because the enemies are real. <laughs> yeah, I should have rehearsed this. These are the stats we're starting off with. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Go. All right, let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered. 
Come on, Nora. I'm going in. You can't sir. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I'm reporting this. If we need to get in, we're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay. You with me? Let's go, hon. You two God follow me. All. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside we're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Let's not think about those other people outside the gate. Step on the platform in the center. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! Can't this thing move faster? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. Vault 10 is here for you. Just this way, please. This way. Step over to the table. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. Sir? Just step in here. Fault suit on. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals, normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, Nora!
Come on! There has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. Then I'll get you. Alright, so welcome to Fallout 4. Um, basically, the bombs have dropped. Uh, the world has turned to shit. We're going to pick up everything. And as you saw, our son was stolen, so we're going to find him. Alright, we're going to need all the bottles we can find for carrying water. I'm going to need all the meat we can find as well. Ouch! Nice. I'm coming back later for you. He's definitely got to come back for that. Let's just make sure we've got everything. So I'll probably cut a lot of this intro out because um, it's not that exciting. Excellent, let's get out of here. Here's our pit boy. So no one knew this was a um, cryogenic freezing place. Um, it turns out most of these vaults were used for social experiments, and everyone that were in the vaults were used were experimented experimented on. We're going to get out of here, we're going to go home, see if Codsworth is still there. And find out what's been going on. Let our eyes adjust. We haven't seen daylight for God knows how long. The world looks a little bit different to when we left it. Yeah, so all of this is, um, all this stuff we've picked up we're going to be able to use for crafting. Uh, weapons and ammo and mods and things like that. Oh, that robot's still alive. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Codsworth? You're, you're still here. So, other people could still be alive too. But of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little... Radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International. <laughs> but you seem the worse for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state. Hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? They... They killed her. 
Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Hmm? You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years? What? Are you? A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give and take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but... Nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car! The car! How do you polish rust? Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Cadsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir! All right, so we're basically going to clear out the place of any... Um, rad roaches or bloat flies or... I'm going to harvest all these, because... They're all food. My senses are picking up movement in another house. What not this time? <laughs> They're really gone, aren't they? Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. Thanks for your help, Cosworth. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. Alright, so... Our next mission is to head to Concord. Uh, but before we do... We're going to do a little bit of a setup here. Uh, we will eventually tidy this place up. Uh, this will become one of our settlements. So for now, let's just clear up a bit of this junk. We're going to scrap it all. It's all going to go into our workbench. And um, then we can use all these items to craft stuff. Uh, this whole house is trash, so we'll get rid of that. Here's my old car. So I'm going to clean up my house. We'll put a bed in here so we can have a little sleep. Then we'll be ready to go. Alright, we're going to build a water pump right there. 
We do have all the workstations around here that we need. So here's our workshop. We have our weapons bench. There's a lot of junk here that we can still scrap. Uh, this is for our power armor. This is our armor workbench. We do have some more things down this end of town. But I believe there's going to be nasty things down here. So here's our cooking station. We're going to take it up to our house. And while we're here, I'm just going to grab every bottle. I'm not going to worry about clearing out the whole place right now. So we'll pick that up. Uh, we'll put it just here. So let's put all our junk in there. We have five water. We have a little bit of food. Um, keep the bottles. Um, we're going to carry this suit with us because that will up our charisma. And it will um, allow us to be more persuasive. We'll grab the milk bottles. Definitely want the stim pack. So over here we're going to fill up all our bottles. So in survival mode, there's no point rushing out uh, to conquer. Or we really need to set ourselves up. We need food. We need plenty of water. Um, we need to get some more weapons. And we'll probably look at maybe look at upgrading one of our weapons as well, and see if we've got any materials to do that. Now we can bake up all our bloat flies. And we should have some red roach. Alright, we should be able to unlock this. Yes. Alright, now we're hungry. So every time we're hungry or thirsty, we're um going to lose uh Stamina? I feel like saying stamina. I think they're called action points in this. Alright, so we ate some food that we found. Got a bit of radiation from it, but nothing too... Too bad at the moment, so nothing to really worry about. Um, so we're currently well fed. We do need to sleep before we go anywhere, though. I do want to clear these places out. I see a red roach up there. One thing we've got to be careful of too is that these things will give us an infection which will um, damage us over time. Where is it? Little baby one. Let's open this suitcase. Got it. There's a bomb. Let's open this safe. Nice. Alright, we just picked up a pipe pistol, which is nice. Let's unlock this. Not that there's going to be anything in here that we really need, but the XP for unlocking it. So basically, this is how we hack the computers. I just usually start with the first one, likeness of zero, so um, none of the letters are G, A, M, or E. Down, could be, no. So it can't be boys, because we know the second letter is not O. Can't be days, because we know the first letter is not D. Can't be damn, A, R, area, it could be. We've got one. Alright, so we've got one attempt left, so at this stage we're going to find all of these open and close brackets. Each of these will either remove a dud, or um... I want the one that's going to reset our tries. 
All right, well, I'm definitely missing one. I've got that one. It's either does ones or acts. I'm gonna go lucky. There we go. Yay! Lucky guess. There's a pistol there. Now, at the back of this house, there's a, um, chemistry bench. So we're going to pick it up, take it home. I mean, we could leave it there, but I like having all our crafting stations in the one place. Look at all these ones over here. Might just, um... Put it there for now. Let's go have a sleep and then we'll um, head down to Concord. Got eight hours, that'll give us a good rest. All right, well, I think that's gonna do it for this one. In the next video, we're gonna head down to Concord and we're gonna see what we can find down there. See if we can get into any, <laughs> what kind of trouble we can get into. Um, Fallout 4. Gee, it's an oldie, but a goodie. Um, playing survival difficulty really changes up the game. If you wanna see more, let me know down in the comments below. Catch you later.